Hi, my name is Rex Walheim. I was a Mission Specialist 2 on STS-135. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you today for the celebration of the fifth anniversary of our flight, but I wanted to send a short greeting just to say hello. Some of my best memories of STS-135 were during the training flow, when we come down here to the Kennedy Space Center or the various other space centers and talk to the workforce who were so excited about this mission. It was neat to see how excited people were about the flight, in spite of the fact that for some of them it was the end of their career with human space flight. The mission went off just great. It was a wonderful uh, mission to be a part of. And of course, it was great to fly with Fergie and Doug and Sandy. They were a great flight crew. And the mission operations team we had here at the, at the Johnson Space Center did a phenomenal job of getting us ready, making sure we were prepared, and then executing the mission as we, uh, as we flew. When we came back, it was great to see the excitement that everybody had for this program. It was amazing how many people came out for the launch. Almost a million people were uh, lining the streets around the Kennedy Space Center to see us take off. It was a pleasure to be part of this mission. For the last five years since uh, we finished our flight, I've continued to be a member of the Astronaut Corps at the Johnson Space Center. My job has mainly been as an astronaut representative to the Orion program. We're helping the Orion program know what's important to us as a crew from a safety perspective and for how to live and work in space. I've also moved on to the Flight Operations Director where I'm working some other programs, the Orion Commercial Crew and the International Space Station program. We have turned a corner now with five years since the last space shuttle flight. What do the next five years bring? It's going to be an exciting time. It's been a difficult transition, as we know, not being able to launch our crews from American soil. But that should change for too long with the commercial crew program. We're looking forward to seeing the commercial crew program launch our astronauts to the space station and continue the groundbreaking research we're doing on the International Space Station. Then we'll have the uh, Orion program coming along. With the next flight will be Exploration Mission 1, where we're flying an unmanned capsule all the way to the moon, and that will be on top of the incredible Space Launch System rocket. Then just around the corner will be our first manned mission, EM-2 for Orion, which will take our astronauts in the lunar vicinity, first time we've gone past low Earth orbit since the Apollo program. So it's been five years since Atlantis flew. Now there's some great things that the shuttle program did, so it's easy to get a little bit sad when you think back on that incredible program. But one thing that makes me happy when I look back is that Atlantis has a fitting home for it, and it's sitting there where it can inspire kids for a future generation, just like it did all the way through its flying career.